Hi there everyone, today for our daily Moravian text Bible study we are in Acts 26 verse 28 through to Acts 27 verse 8. And if you remember Paul has addressed this um, audience of people, all the leading influential people including the Roman governor Festus and King Herod Agrippa II and he has always been like put on trial because Festus is trying to compile information because Paul has appealed to an audience with Caesar and it's his legal right as a man born a Roman citizen to have an audience with Caesar a trial by Caesar and um, and, and so Paul shares his story his testimony of how um, he was a persecutor of Jesus uh, of Christians but Jesus reached out to him on that Damascus road and transformed his life. And today's reading starts with Agrippa, um, the um, King Agrippa saying to Paul, um, do you think that you can persuade me to become a Christian in such a short period of time? Um, and Paul sort of agrees with that. And, and I, I think that, that we should persuade people, that we should share the good news at every opportunity, and we should stick with people who are people of peace, who are open, who are pressing in, who are listening um, and, and explain with conviction and passion how Jesus has changed our lives. But Paul completely understood, verse 29, that it was only God that could bring about that sort of conversion. Uh, and he says in verse 29, well, actually, Agrippa, I pray that that's what God will do. That's what Paul's basically saying whether it's a short, short time or a long time, I pray that everyone listening to me will become what I am, a follower of Jesus. And, and as far as we know, King Agrippa, the governor of Festus, they rejected Paul's message. That certainly seems to be the case as we read on through Acts. But Paul was faithful to sharing his story. He was faithful to sowing those uh, seeds of the gospel. And that's all that Jesus asks us to do. How people respond to that, that's between them and God, isn't it? Uh, Paul sows the seeds and then he prays that those seeds would be effective and lead people into relationship with Jesus to bear fruit. And I would encourage you, sow seeds liberally um, and pray for those with, uh, to whom you have in, uh, shared the gospel with. Then verse uh, chapter 27, as we move into 27, they uh, set sail for Italy, for Rome. Paul is heading still under arrest for his audience with Caesar. It says that they have to pass by Cyprus. They are blown off course because the wind is against them. The wind is great. And they end up landing in a place called Fairhaven, which to me just sounds like um a caravan site in the north of Wales. I don't know, but there they, it, maybe it was a lovely place. But there they are in Fairhaven. And, and again, particularly as we read through in the next couple of days, it just reminded me that here is Paul um, and working God's plan for his life by being imprisoned, by uh, being given audiences with the hyperloi, the wealthy, the educated, the people with authority. He's heading to Rome to have an audience with Caesar. This is God's plan for Paul. This is God's desire and intention for Paul. Paul is simply going along with it. I mean, even Agrippa <laughs> acknowledges that Paul could have been set free if he simply hadn't appealed to Caesar. So Paul is being obedient to Jesus and yet he still faces a head on wind. It's, it, he still faces resistance. He, he's still blown off course even though he's been obedient. And, and it just reminded me that actually being obedient to Jesus is not easy. Um, sharing the gospel with people is not easy. Uh, working God's plan and purpose for our life does not mean you will have literally plain sailing. It didn't mean that for um, Paul. But actually we may experience opposition. We may experience head-on winds. We may um, have to sort of slightly adapt and change course. Um, if you type into Google Maps, um, and follow the direction you get a blue line but often you get these gray lines don't you coming off the side the alternative routes I don't know about you but it's in those alternative routes when we have eyes to see what the spirit is doing 
that's often when we find we're sharing Jesus most effectively, when the Spirit's power is made most um, manifest through us. So let's be open to the leading and direction of the Holy Spirit. It doesn't mean if you're facing opposition, you're out of his will. Just humbly submit to him and you know for uh, that you will be in his will. And let's just continue to make Jesus known wherever he has placed us.